welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I am moving to my second year of medical school at the University of Birmingham and welcome back. This is a new video, a new style. It's a university tips so it's not just medicine, this is all university and if you're thinking of going you in September but and if you're thinking of going in September 2022 I would highly recommend you watch this video and find out what the best student bank account to get is when you get your results on results day. I want to preface this video saying I do have a Santander student current account and that may bias my views on their bank card but I will tell you that the conclusion of this video is that the best student bank account to get in 2022 is not Santander so if you want to find out why watch this video if you're thinking about a specific one and you want to know a little bit more about it there are timestamps that will tell you each different one that I'm going to talk about as well as my final conclusions and why they are at the end. First, we're gonna talk about the Santander student current account, which is often perceived to be one of the top. This is very subjective to what you need it for. So the Santander current account comes with a 1,500 pounds interest-free overdraft for the full three years of a university degree. If you're doing a four or five year degree in fourth year, this will go up to £1,800 overdraft and in fifth year, it'll go up to a £2,000 overdraft. But this is an interest-free overdraft and will be likely be the only interest-free overdraft you get in your life and should be taken advantage of during medical school or during university if that is something you are to be relying on. The Santander current account also comes with a free four year rail card, which is a 16 to 25 rail card. This rail card will give you a third off of rail travel and most train tickets and has been fundamental in getting me from the University of Birmingham to the city centre by a train because I constantly get trains everywhere. It also gives me a little bit of a discount when I'm travelling home on the train, which has really helped keep my transport costs low. I chose this mainly because placement, when you're on placement and you're getting public transport everywhere, having a rail card can be very good in keeping the cost of rail travel down. This is also normally comes out to a cost of around £100, so it is giving you basically £100 worth of rail card. There is a little caveat to this, to, cut, to get the £1,500 overdraft you do need to be paying in around £500 a month to the student account. So if you get your student loan, instead of paying all your student loan and leaving it in the account and just spending from there, if you move your student loan into a savings account and then move in £500 a month, that will mean maintain the overdraft and stop you from spending all your money at once. If you would like any budgeting tips or how to spend at university, put that in the comments and I'll answer any questions you have and I might make a video in the future about how I budgeted. Now, what I think is the other top bank account that you can get for students is HSBC. Now HSBC comes with a £1,000 overdraft for first year, £2,000 for second year and £3,000 for third year. These are interest-free overdrafts just the same, all student current accounts have interest-free overdrafts but this overdraft is sizably larger than the Santander overdraft will get. This could be a negative for some students if you use it at overdraft all the time or it could be useful for somebody who might struggle to have enough money and will use the overdraft when needed and not all the time. They also give you £100 in cash, providing you make five debit card payments from this bank card within the first 30 days, which you will do. It is so easy to do that. You could just go to Sainsbury's and do five different shops if you need to. That will be way really really easy to do and you will get £100 in cash for that so it is an incentive to get that card because it does give you £100 in cash. Now not only does it have the highest interest free overdraft over the three year course it also has a student credit card. Once you have the student current account for a certain amount of time you can then apply for their student credit card which will be helpful in building your credit score because that is something you can find really challenging to do at university. And if anything, university will bring your credit score down because of the number of loans, payments, overdrafts and everything that you'll be using. So this student credit card will be so helpful in enabling you to start building your credit score that when you, so that when you leave university and you have a full time job, your credit score is high enough that you might be able to qualify for a mortgage or bills or finance for a vehicle, things like that. 
A credit score is very important, but it's also very challenging to build without a credit card. Another bank account that we're going to talk about is Nationwide. Now, Nationwide has the same overdraft scheme as HSBC with £1,000 in first year, £2,000 in second year and £3,000 in third year. All of these being interest free. However, they do not come with any incentives, so no rail card, no cash, no taste card, nothing like that. They also have this thing in Nationwide that when you're spending off your card, for an extra layer of security, you will have to use your card reader to send other people money. Now, this has been such an inconvenience for a lot of my student friends because it means they can't send money and they end up opening something like a Monzo and using that to send money to people, which can be safer if you want to make sure you can't send money to anybody but it is up to you. It can be quite challenging. Say if you're on a night out and somebody buys you a drink and you want to split it, you can't send them money because you don't have your card reader and it can be such a pain. So Nationwide is one of the top accounts because of its security level and its overdraft, but a lot of students find it quite annoying that you have to use your card reader all the time. Another one I'm going to talk about is NatWest. Now NatWest is a well-known bank in the UK and their first term gives you a £500 overdraft and then this will continue to increase as you spend up to a maximum of £2,000 for your three years at university. This is not a guaranteed overdraft. You may stay at £500 overdraft for the whole year, three years, or you could go up to £2,000 overdraft in the first week. A lot of students I know all ended up with the 2000 so I'm not quite sure what determines when that increases, but that would be a £2,000 interest-free overdraft, which is larger than the Santander overdraft, but smaller than Nationwide and HSBC. They also come with some benefits, such as the... £80 cash or four year taste card, you can choose between the two, but this would require similar to HSBC that you spend on the card a certain amount of time. Similarly to this, the Royal Bank of Scotland acts in the exact same way as NatWest, so rewatch the NatWest clip to understand, but they have the exact same requirements and the exact same figures. There are things like the Co-op Bank, which does not have any many branches left in the UK and is quite challenging to access. So depositing things like cheques would have to be through like post office or put through post. So co-op is a bit of a an outlier. Not many people, I don't know anybody with the co-op bank card, but they do do 1,700 free interest free overdraft and then up to 2,000 in your final year with no benefits. So it is more of an honourable mention. I don't know anyone who has a co-op bank card and I wouldn't recommend it. Now, there are so many, so many bank cards out there like Lloyds, Barclays and things like that. So the majority of them come with a around about £2,000 interest-free overdraft for the three years at university and few benefits, things like £50 in cash or a taste card or a rail card. So I think the top three from the ones I've seen and from the students I know uh, Santander, Nationwide and HSBC because everybody I know who's a student has one of those three. I personally have the Santander because I use the rail card almost all the time. I have definitely earned my money back using that rail card. My trains into the city centre are about £1.50 cheaper than they would be without it and it has been a lifesaver. So I think the Santander would be best for people who love travelling by train and use the train all the time. For those of you who don't travel by train, get the coach home, drive, you have a car, if you live at university and you don't plan on going anywhere that's a long distance, I personally would say that the HSBC bank card is the best bank card to get in 2022 because the industry, the world is getting more and more expensive as life goes on. So having a larger overdraft will be very helpful whilst you're at university if you come into any challenges or if you find anything particularly expensive that you have to do at university. I also think that the student credit card is something you, an opportunity you cannot pass up on. Being able to build your credit score at university is so fundamental and will help you when you've finished. And so when you move home after university and start saving for a house, if that's what you want, you want to already have a credit score built and ready. So when you apply for a mortgage or when you apply for car finance or whatever you want to do in the future, you have a credit score that, that will let you do that. Having that credit card will be amazing in doing that. You can also get this whenever. So you do qualify with about six months after having a student bank account, as long as you use your overdraft and pay it off which is not hard, you can do that all the time. My friend did that, she'd use spend money and then she'd put her loan in to pay off the overdraft because that helps build your credit score too. 
and then qualified for the HSBC credit card. So if you have any more questions about anything I've talked about in this video, please comment them down below. If you'd like to see more videos about how to be a student, being like what it's like being a student, what it's like being a medical student, how to get into medical school, all of that, there's so much more down below and there are a lot more lifestyle videos coming soon. So stick around if you wanna see more. Thank you for watching, bye.